Hi, it's Melissa from The Hug Strap. You may also know me as the lady who plays the ukulele in The Dirty Hillers. Um, I am making this video today because I wanted to just share it with you a helpful tip if you are trying to learn scales and you're ready to pull out your hair, okay? Um, I wish I had learned this earlier and I wish somebody had pointed it out to me because then I think it would have been a lot easier for me to learn scales and I wouldn't have been so resistant. So the little trick I want to show you is that if you can memorize a pattern, you can all of a sudden have many scales in your back pocket. So we're going to focus on the major scales today. So if you memorize this pattern and you know how your notes work up, um, going up the frets, up the neck of the ukulele, then you will all of a sudden have, depending on the length of your ukulele, somewhere between 9 and 11 scales that you know automatically. And that's awesome. So we're going to start with the D major scale. I'm going to have you take your index finger you're going to place it on the third string, second fret, and you're gonna pluck that string. And the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your ring finger and put it on the fourth fret, same string, okay? Now index finger goes to the second string, second fret, then middle finger, third fret, same string, pinky, fifth fret, okay? Now we're gonna to move to first string, first, uh, for, or second fret, I should say. Then you're gonna to go to your ring finger, fourth, pinky fifth. Okay, so that's the pattern you need to memorize, and that is the D major scale. But guess what? If you know that pattern, all you have to do is move up one more fret, and now you are at the D sharp E flat major scale. Okay, so same pattern. Oops, have to hit the right note though. All right, so you hit that. Okay, then you're going to do this, right? Imagine that. Oh, and if we keep going, we're at E. If we keep going, we're at F. So as you go up and up the scale, you're going to have all these different major uh, scales. So all you have to do is memorize that one pattern, in addition, of course, to knowing your C major scale, which is open strings. The reason I didn't go over that, and I'll do it right now, is because to start your C major scale, you have to pluck an open string. So it starts with the uh, third string open. Okay, then you go open. So that's C major scale, definitely learn it, but for our purposes it's a little bit easier to start on the D major so that way you remember, memorize all of them. Or if you start on the first fret, you'll have um, C sharp or D flat as well. So you can start, start there too, but it's just about memorizing that pattern. So I've drawn it out for you. This is the pattern you want to memorize, and I'm going to leave that up there for a second so you can kind of take a screenshot of it or do whatever you need to do. And then if I move it down, you're at a C major scale. All right. And then this is my really awesome drawing of what notes you would be, or what uh, scales you'd be playing if you, as you go up and up, down the neck, or up the neck, I should say. All right. And then I'm gonna also going to make a real quick plug for this. I'm not getting paid to do this, but um, I really like this book. It's the Hal Leonard Ukulele Scale Finder book. It's a great reference book. If you go through, you can find pretty much any scale you can think of under the sun in all the different forms. So they've got the minor pentatonics, they've got diminished scales, they've got mixo blues. I haven't even figured out what all of this means. But what I did figure out is that if you memorize a pattern, then all you have to do is know that if you move it up the neck, that you're in a different key, which is awesome, because that means I didn't have to memorize so many different things. All I had to do was memorize the one pattern. All right, so that's it for today. Um, on my next video, I'm going to show you how to do other patterns for other scales, um, including the pentatonics. All right, thank you.